Hi, I'm Danny. I get asked a lot about personal statements, from how to get started to how to polish it to make it UCAS ready. So having looked at probably around 50 personal statements in the last few years, I've come up with 10 quick steps to go from absolutely nothing to a finished personal statement ready to send off to universities. I've split this into two sets of five. So the first five, which is this video, how to plan. The next five, how to get it written. Step one, get together a list of absolutely anything you can think of you think you might want to include. Go wild, a lot of this stuff you might not end up including, but if you've got it there, then when you're writing you can see stuff and think that'll fit in. So I've got an example here, Harry Potter themed. So maybe some work experience that you think is relevant, anything you've done, doesn't matter how recent, just put it down on this paper. Maybe you're the school Quidditch captain or you're a prefect or whatever you do, you run a club, you go to a club, anything like that, put it down. Maybe you've entered some competitions like transfiguration competition, you know, first prize in a crossword competition, second prize in a beauty contest, whatever it is, put it down. Volunteering, anything like that again, like just extracurriculars that you find interesting, write them here, it'll be useful later. Step two is where you get an idea of how you're going to structure your personal statement. Either go to the video description and print off a copy of this personal statement grid, or just get a blank piece of paper, split it into eight sections and label them. Introduction, a few areas of interest, extracurriculars and wrap up. Literally that's all you need to do for step two. Step three, starting to fill in the grid. First, write down a few subject areas that interest you and maybe some work experience that really excited you. Then, use your list from earlier to start to fill in the grid, putting things in the relevant boxes. Next, add things that show that you've pursued your interest in the topic. Look at any books you've read, see which ones fit best in the grid, slide them in. Any lectures that you got dragged to with your school or chose to go to yourself or just listen to online as a podcast, put them down. Any coursework you've done, extended essays, EPQs, anything like that, into the grid. As well as any extra detail about work experience that you've done. Look on the university that you most want to go to's website, at the course that you're most interested in. And look for key words. Look for skills they want you to have. Look for the names of modules and put those onto your grid. Maybe they've said they want you to be motivated. And maybe they've said that as part of your degree, you're going to investigate new species. Put it down. It's something that you can say that you're excited to do. Step five, fill in the first and last boxes. The first box should be a bit of an introduction. So put stuff down like what excites you about the topic, why you want to study it, maybe what you want to do afterwards if you've got any idea. For example, if this person wants to be a St Mungo's nurse, that's what they might put down. And then the wrap-up box. This really needs to sort of sell you to the university. Pow, pow, pow. Who are you? Tell the university that. So maybe you're thoughtful, curious, help others, anything you can think of. Confident, diligent. Just think of the words that best describe you. Maybe ask your parents or your friends. But to be honest, if I asked my friends, they'd probably just say, gobby. So, not the best. Anything like that though, put it down. Well, that's your personal statement plan done. This should make it a lot easier to write your personal statement than if you just jump straight in. Join me in my next video where I'll give you five more steps on how to turn this plan into a polished personal statement.